All right. So with Joe Biden dropping out, um, we had wall to wall cringe fest yesterday. I'm talking about everybody and their mother just giving a sloppy suck job to Biden's meat. So Crystal and I watched some MSNBC. <laughs> it was exactly what you would have thought. I mean, now the, the deification of Biden. Now, look, uh, by the way, I agree it was the right thing for him to step down. I'm happy that he stepped down and he's not running for re-election. So I do want to give credit where it's due in that sense. But also, you're never going to see me fawning and drooling over a man who's currently arming and funding a genocide and shows no remorse about that, right? The, you know what Biden could do to get my favor back? When uh, Netanyahu comes here in a few days to give a speech, have his ass arrested. Then I'll be doing cartwheels and backflips. And I'll grab my pom-poms and cheerlead for Joe Biden in that scenario. But if you don't have Netanyahu arrested, sorry, you're, you know, you're down in my estimation. Now, he did had did some good things economically as president. 800,000 manufacturing jobs coming back and LRB. I can go on and on, right? Uh, give him credit for that. Give him credit for stepping down here, putting country above ego. But, you know, the genocide sort of washes all that away. But uh, the whole topic of the genocide was going, going, gonzo, nowhere to be found, nowhere to be seen, not to be brought up even in the slightest. Uh, with the deification that happened yesterday. So Biden comes out, announces, I'm dropping out. Uh, let's take a look at CNN. And Van Jones has some thoughts for us. Now pay attention to his voice. Pay attention to what he looks like. As I play this for you, this is quite a moment. Here we go. Even people who are pushing for this to happen, it's kind of like like when, when, you're, when your grandpa, you got to take the keys. And everybody, you got to take his keys. You got to take his keys. You gotta, and, 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 and he's fighting and he's fighting. And everybody's so frustrated. And then you finally get the keys back. And then you just cry. Because this is somebody that you love. This is somebody that you care about. This is somebody who was there for you. This is somebody you wouldn't be here without him. And you had to take something from him. Now, this is not, look, this politics is politics. But this is a human moment for one of the great humans in America. This is a huge moment for him, for his family, for all of us who love him, for all of us who want him to get across the finish line. But if you're a young person watching this, this is leadership. This is patriotism. This is what it means to put the country first and put the party first and put the cost first. When your arm gets tired, you let somebody else finish pitching the game. That's what Joe Biden has done. And he's done that for all of us. And so I just want to say, I don't know who's going to be the VP, the non-VP. I don't know anything about politics. I just know that I love this man. I care about this man. It was painful every day to sit up here and talk about him like he's just a, you know, some, some problem for the party. Wait till we get to the convention. You're going to see people crying, standing, screaming, cheering. He may not get a chance to talk for 10 minutes. We finally get a chance to put our arm around this guy. He did the right thing for this country. He did the right thing for this party. All of us are going to be in this situation someday. And I hope that we take a moment to honor this man and to love this man. I love Joe Biden. I appreciate what he's done. And a lot of people uh, are heartbroken today. Even if it's the right thing, it's still just horrible. So I don't know if you caught it. He was tearing up at one point. Here you go. One more time. I'll play it again for you. Even people who are pushing for this to happen. It's kind of like, like when, when, you're, when your grandpa, you got to take the keys. And everybody, you got to take his keys. You got to take his keys. You gotta, and, 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 and he's fighting and he's fighting. And everybody's so frustrated. And then you finally get the keys back. And then you just cry. Because this is somebody that you love. This is somebody See? that you care about. This is somebody who was there for you. This is somebody you wouldn't. Voices breaking. Tears welling up. Oh, my God. Be here without him. And you have to take something from him. Now, this is not. Look, this politics is politics. But this is a human moment. For one of the great humans in America. This is a huge moment for him, for his family, for all of us who love him. For all <sighs> Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Guys, he had to be dragged kicking and screaming to this position, right? It took, remember when he said only the Lord Almighty could get me out of this race? Well, apparently the Lord Almighty is Nancy Pelosi, right? It, he had to be dragged kicking and screaming. They needed to do a pressure campaign. They needed to do a drip, drip, drip of congressmen and senators coming out saying, sorry, it's not you. They need to do ba basically a donor strike. They needed to show him the polls every single day to, until it got to the point where they were like, homie, you're down in every single swing state and you're down about five or six points. You ain't winning this thing. So really his hand was forced. Now, again, I'm happy that he realized like, okay, my hand is being forced and I have to step aside, but let's bring it down a little bit with the, the like over the top reaction here. Okay, so there's Van Jones nearly crying, tearing up. Again, talking about Biden like he's some family member and I love this man. Like, really? Really? You love genocide? Do you love that? And then, okay, so now we'll get to Rachel Maddow. This is Rachel Maddow's reaction. Uh, she seems like shocked. She seems sort of like in disbelief over uh, Biden dropping out. Let's see what she says. I mean, this is just, this is history um, writ large. You know, we'll all remember where we were and what we were doing at this moment. And uh, just thinking about the president right now, you know, what a, what a man, what a patriot. Um, <laughs> what an act of you know, selfless devotion to your country. And he, he has been a phenomenal president. He brought us back from COVID. 
He literally has COVID right now. <laughs> Look, I'm not saying that the COVID rates haven't gone down. They have gone down, but they also just like stop reporting the details and the specifics and the numbers of people that have it. Like a lot of this is just sort of like sweeping it under the rug type shit, right? He has COVID right now. He, we beat COVID with him. And by the way, one of the few things people should give Trump for is Operation Warp Speed, which got us the vaccine. And so she's acting like, it's all Biden did everything. Come on, man. Come on. You know, it, it gave us the best recovery from COVID of any major nation on Earth at a time when the world has economically been struggling in the wake of COVID. The Biden economy is literally the envy of the world. Um, he ended the presidency of, of Donald Trump at one disastrous term. Um, and he did it while being decent and oh. civil. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. The way that they just fucking memory hole the genocide that's going on right now. I just can't. I can't stomach this shit. And look, I was one of the pre-genocide. I was one of the people who was out there like, look, he did better than I thought he would do. He pulled us out of Afghanistan and took a whole bunch of shit from it, including from the media. They really drove down his poll numbers because he did the right thing for once and pulled out of Afghanistan. He nearly stopped the drone war. He reduced it massively. Like I said, created 800,000 manufacturing jobs, gave us the infrastructure bill, gave us a great NLRB. Like, there's a number of things. I gave so much credit where it was due. But then post-genocide, like, I would understand this rant if he stepped down a little earlier and he wasn't in the midst of arming and funding a genocide. But he didn't step down earlier. He was forced to it. And he is arming and funding a genocide. But so we get this. And it's just so over the top. Honorable and oh. normal and occasionally boring at a time when boring was absolutely what we needed. <laughs> and I just, um, you know, his career of decades in public service as a senator and as a very successful vice president and as a phenomenally successful president, there is no single thing that he has done in that entire career that is a greater or more consequential act of service and sacrifice to this country uh, than what he has done today. And I cannot, I mean, knowing him a little bit, knowing his personality, um, having spoken to him you know, a, a, a number of times in my life, both in sort of official and unofficial capacities, I cannot see anywhere in his personality where this decision today was possible. This is, not, this is the opposite of something that is natural or easy for him. He is just not built to do something like this because he, his superpower is being underestimated. And uh, that's why he's been so resolute and resisting all these calls for him to drop out. But him making this decision today is to give the country a chance, a reasonable chance. Okay, hold on now. You were insisting just yesterday, just this week, you were insisting, oh, yeah, Bi Biden's the one and he could be Trump. Now you're saying just to have a chance, he had to drop out. Well, where was this commentary the other day? Why weren't you sounding the, the alarm before? Come on, man. I mean, they're so dishonest. This is so dishonest. They're not even trying to be consistent. They're not even trying. Just, yeah, okay, if he's the one, I'm just going to lie to everybody in the process. But now that he's not the one, now you allow yourself to tell the truth and he had basically no chance of winning? Jesus Christ. Not putting Donald Trump back in the White House? not putting a president back in the White House who refused to leave the last time and summoned an angry mob to try to overthrow the gov government rather than go. This is Joe Biden saying, apparently it's not me, the one that gives us the best chance to do that. It's got to be somebody else, and so I will step aside. I'm just blown away by the sacrifice and the patriotism that this moment um, embodies. There's just a whole lot of this going on. There's a whole lot of this going on. Just... <clears throat> That's what I see. <laughs> and I can't, I can't stand it. And again, this is coming from a guy who... I'm happy he stepped aside. He did the right thing. You know, he, his hand was forced, but he finally put the ego aside and did the right thing. But let's bring it down just a little bit. By the way, if he had remained the candidate and he went on to lose, which he overwhelmingly likely would have lost, he would have been such a fucking pariah. It would have got to the point where, like, Democratic voters would have treated Biden like Republican voters now treat George W. Bush and Dick Cheney where they like to pretend like that didn't happen, we don't like them, you know, Trump shits on w George W. Bush and Dick Cheney, even though he governs like them, all the time. And the Republican voters are just like, fuck these people. It would have gotten to that point with Biden and Democratic voters. So, it really is, I don't know what argument finally got through to him, but it could have been the, hey man, legacy. You care about legacy? Okay. Well, if you step aside now, your legacy is cemented, and you will have every single... Democratic media personality, most of the Democratic voters will absolutely sing your praises, right? But if you go on and lose, man, you are, whoo, ain't no legacy more anymore, bitch. It's you were a disaster. You would be remembered as a disaster. So anyway, there you have it. Some MSNBC responses, some CNN responses.
It's kind of on par. The MSNBC response is kind of on par, but that Van Jones thing where he's sort of like tearing up, fighting back tears. Oh, that... Yeah. <laughs> That's, it's just gross. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.